Hey everybody, I got Cass with me today! So I finally got my gaming desk all set up. It looks really nice. I got the shelves put up, but I still have some stuff that I don't want to leave on a desk. I don't want to have showing like wires and extra controllers and things like that. So we're going to go to the store. I'm going to look for one of those little cabinet things. What is it called? Uh, like it plastic cabinet? drawers? Like a plastic drawer thing. And we're going to go to Target first to check it out because I like their stuff better. And then maybe Walmart? I don't know. You feel like going to Walmart? Not on Saturday. Yeah, no. So we're just going to take a look at Target and see what they have there. And then at the end, maybe we'll do a sneak peek of the finished desk because it's pretty much done, just except for a couple of things that are moving around. It's really nice. First, we're going to drop off some clothes to the kids because they're staying tonight at their grandparents. No kids. No kids! Ah! <laughs> And then we're gonna head over to Target. We'll probably walk around in the electronics section because I always do that. Is there any place you wanna go in the Target and take a look at? Um, Everywhere? In the hair stuff? <laughs> do you like to play video games? Not anymore. What kind of but games? I did when I was a kid. What kind of games did you used to play? Um, I remember playing Aladdin and Tetris, um, Donkey Kong, Tekken. Would you ever play games on the channel with me? <laughs> I guess, if you really wanted me to. Do you like the kind of games where you play together or against each other? I think against each other, because <laughs> they're shorter. <laughs> okay, what Maybe if it was like easy games? Like Like what? I showed you, Streets of Rage, where we both just kind of walk and beat people up, and there's like Turtles games that, where you do the same thing. I was playing with Carter the other day. Oh, that Turtles. turtle game that the kids play? Yes, there's that one, Battletoads. And then there's fighting games, like you said, Tekken, yeah, or Street I like those. Fighter, Mortal Kombat. I like racing. Racing games? We could do some Mario Kart. So you might want to do some gaming on the channel. Sure. <laughs> So before we get started, we have to find some valentines for the kids. We found some cards for Jada. They're punny. Punny cards. <laughs> These are good. They have two punny little things on each They're looking one. sharp. I'd be I lying. Cute. I think you're fantastic. Got some cool stuff in the electronics department. We got the old Atari at games. They have a new one out. The the X or the 10. I'm going to be showing off. Here's this Go Retro thing. I got one of these for Christmas from my brother. We're going to go over that too. And then a little Pac-Man thing. And out here in the opens the Genesis Mini. And a little Ms. Pac-Man thing. But look at this. A bar top. Arcade one up. Pac-Man. I didn't know they were coming out with these. It's kind of cool though, but I mean it's $200 for just the bar top one or the counter cade, I guess they call it. And you can get like a full one for 200, I think like the older ones. So I don't know, that's a lot of money for something like this. It's kind of interesting, but not for that price. My brother got me one of these for Christmas. That's on my desk now, but there's a few more here. Like the one up, that looks really cool. I'm just gonna trash the store. What else was there? This is the one I have with the Mario's. That's really awesome. And we have another one with Mario fighting Bowser. And then this one over here with Link. I want to get more of these. All right, we made it to the storage area. And I think something like this is what I'm looking for. I just need something small. So like three drawers like this, one for like the wires, extra controllers. Like I think I want a drawer just for all those, um, those blast controllers. I think, cause I, I'm going to have like nine of them. I think they all might fit in here. Maybe not, I'm not sure, but these are like 10 bucks. Stupid cheap. And here's a bigger one too. It looks like it's more space with only two drawers. This might actually be better also for $10 because I think in one of these I could fit all of them. Oh, they're not drawers though, are they? What are these? Two layer handle box. Yeah, how do you get to the bottom one? Gotta take the top one off first. I'm not really looking for that. I want something with some pull out drawers like this. Maybe not. I think this should work. I could probably fit the wires all in one and then all the controllers in two if I have to. 
This is only $10, so. So I think we're going with this. I'm just gonna keep this under the desk, put my extra stuff in it. All right, made it back. Got my little shelves here. And yeah, all I'm using this for is, excuse the mess, um, this stuff down here. Like I got my second controllers that I'm never gonna use. Well, not never. I mean, Cass did say she wouldn't mind playing games. So, so it's just for all these like extra cords down here. Like this, this is a power cord to the Neo Geo Mini, you know, with the USB-C side that I can't use for anything else. So like I promised, let me show you guys how my setup is now. There's still gonna be a few changes but at least you can see it with all the shelves up and everything. So, this is pretty much what we're gonna be looking at. You see I got that sign up there. I might get a couple more that we saw in Target because I think that would be really cool. So for a couple things like, you know, this won't be in here, that's for the camera. You know, this controller I might put up with the other ones. But yeah, that's what I did. I put all my controllers up on the shelf here and then most of my systems are on that second shelf. And then everything else I can kind of do what I want with that Pac-Man game is probably going to stay to the side. Those blast boxes won't be there, that Atari box won't be there because I'm going to review the Atari and then actually put it with the other systems up here somewhere. But all this is going to be like the work-ish area. Any systems that I'm doing a video on or something will be over in this corner out of sight. And I guess the main view is going to be something like this, like right here. This will be kind of the backdrop for most of my stuff. I might move that picture over to the side because it worked before but now that I don't have anything over here so that's going to be moved over some and I have to keep this middle part kind of like blank because that's where I'm going to be sitting and you won't see what's behind me there but that's it I hope you guys had a good time you enjoyed the video and Cass said that she wouldn't mind playing some games so I'm going to try and uh, get her on the channel more and play games let me know in the comments what you think about Cass joining me to play games because I think that would be a lot of fun and that's it. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is the part of the video where I thank those users who support the channel through YouTube memberships and Patreon. Eric Colon, Jordy Alex, Mike Muniz, Sam Torres, Dor, Yaroslav Orudzov, Den Cardoso, Andre G, Randy Day, Travis Morton, Rick67, and Batman.